Good morning, Tubes! Episode 18, Team Apex Olympia Training Camp. And I have some news to share with you. This week was a fucking grinder! Oh my gosh! Babe, Look do I that. tell him? Um, <laughs> I hope you're gonna tell him because I'm, <laughs> I'm showing him. Guys, oh, I got sick. Oh my gosh. So Monday, I started to like, my throat started to get really sore. By like Wednesday, I was like, oh man, like, I don't think I'm gonna make it to Idaho. Like, I can't get these competitors sick. Like, I can't travel, this is crazy. So, it was very unfortunate and I feel so terrible that I had to miss out on the MPC Idaho Championships. Um, I was really looking forward to seeing everyone there and uh, the competition is actually happening this weekend. So, I apologize I couldn't make it guys, but I am feeling much better now this morning I, I woke up and my throat was like a hundred times better so i did my cardio um we did go zero carb for like three days just because i literally sat around and did nothing just tried to you know take my medicine gargle salt water and vinegar and just tried to feel better so i do feel a lot better now with that being said my check-in um photos this morning were insane so Shelby said, okay, let's throw some carbs back in. So as you can see, I have the usual half English muffin with some sugar-free strawberry jam. We have 130 grams of mixed berries, two dates, three prunes, and then I've made my egg white pizza. Um, and I like to put a little bit of asparagus, spinach, and there's two little tomatoes that I cut open to make it look like a pizza. And then this pizza spice I just got off Amazon. Shake it on, throw it in your little uh, oven, air fryer, whatever. Throw it in for 10 minutes, it comes out like a pizza. It's freaking mm, so good. So again, feeling much better. We're no, like 13 days out. No gym today. No. I'm still, you know, trying to go slow here. Yeah. Training tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Hoping to train tomorrow. Yeah. We're right. hoping to train tomorrow. Um, we got the big boy coming over. Hmm. Um, so yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a pretty uh, crazy week, but, you know, things are, uh, that's, that's how prep goes, right, guys? We've had a such an awesome prep thus far it's still going like really well i like you and i were talking this morning this has been the best prep yet i was literally sick for like four days but now i'm going into the olympia fucking superhuman i could be around anyone yeah anyone who's sick i'm immune to it now so it's like come at me cough on me <laughs> yeah. i'll take it <laughs> I, don't know if you're, I don't know if you're immune to it but your immune system is heightened mm -hmm. which will help yeah you know coming off the cold i think that's true mm -hmm. i might just be making up like old wives tales here but I think no i you, think you're right yeah i think you get sick your immune system's so heightened yeah you tend not to get re-sick so timing wise good. thank god thank god you didn't get sick oh boy you're tempted to fade here knock knock on wood. knock on wood yeah oh, knock yeah. on wood there that you don't oh don't bark sorry sorry tubes if you got dogs at home yeah i always do that yeah. um yeah, we got to make sure that you don't get sick, babe, because we were uh, we were like separate parts of the house, like we were doing everything. Yeah, like, staying away from each other. Yeah, so it, it guys, it got to a today, point. I yeah, mean, there was like three days where, yeah. I I got to give a huge shout out to I Vitality, Kayleen. She is the owner of I Vitality. My gosh, I I messaged her and said, "Girl, I'm sick." Like, she's like got me in right away. We got an IV going. Um, I'm actually going today to get another IV and then we're going to do like a, an immune boost injection, which is like, I think it's like zinc, vitamin C, like a bunch of other things. So just to like really boost the immune system. Um, but gosh, I, I love I Vitality. Um, thank you, Kayleen, for hooking me up. <laughs> Keeping me healthy, you know? The person in the comments that hates to watch you eat. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, girl. <laughs> don't, don't watch prep videos. <laughs> uh, Whoops. 
Anyway, it's all good. All right. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're going to keep rolling with the vlog here. We're going to be doing a workout tomorrow with you guys. I can't wait for you to see the crazy ass physique. Let's just. We're getting nutty. <laughs> Two time on the Missy Costa. Good morning guys. 13 days out from the Olympia and we're going streaking. Just kidding. <laughs> um, I'm doing my check-ins for Shelby. So we got, you know, the black screen here. We haven't done a physique update in a couple weeks, so this will be pretty cool. Um, as you know, I was sick for a couple days, but I'm back to 100, so we're good. Um, got, a, got an IV yesterday from uh, I have vitality, so we did two of those, but okay, physique update, let's go. I don't know if the camera picks up the same detail as the iPhone. I was going back and forth between the two. Oh, really? Yeah, you look sick. Thanks, babe. Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, this first thing in the morning, haven't eaten. Haven't eaten. Did 50 minutes of stairs. Did my little bit of uh, routine stuff out here in the garage. Um, 66, so I mean, so it's you gotta, pretty, pretty chilly out here. You got to keep the quads full. And then dig those hammies, and that's what you've accomplished. Yeah. Ah, oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. It's all good. It's uh, it's really coming together now. Um, this is legit, babe. Been the best prep. Yeah. Like, I know. Like, I mean, it sounds like we talk about like toxic positivity. Yeah. For <laughs> everyone, like, <laughs> yeah. they bomb a show, and then they're like, oh no, this is what I asked for you, right. whatever. But it, this cold did come at a good time. Yeah. And we said if you can. Just miss a couple days, it frankly might help you. Yeah. You know? We're um, the lowest in weight, too, I've been. Yeah. Um, so if you kind of were forced to, like, sit. Yeah. Um, I shouldn't say the weight, right? I don't, to, I don't care. Uh, so, yeah, this morning I was 125, which is the lowest, I, I think, have, even I never, in, I'm in my no, 20s. Is, yeah. Uh, yeah, the six years of competing, yeah. I've never seen you this fucking lean. Yeah, so... Um, definitely, I know I can get tighter. Um, will I be under 125? Most definitely. I think I, if after, I were to... Even after you carve up and... I think so. Yeah? Wow. I think so. Wow. I think I'll probably be around 123 on stage. We'll see. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I'm very excited. I know people like in comments on uh, YouTube and Instagram have been like, oh, you should do women's physique or like, you're so big. It's like, no guys, I'm not. It's proportions. It's yeah, it's, it's just, it's all, bodybuilding is an illusion, right? It's all, you know, um, it's deceiving. Uh, so when you see me in Orlando, you're gonna be like, oh man, Missy's like 5'4 and like <laughs> 120 pounds, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, uh, uh, gosh, I'm so stoked to get to Orlando. Like, I've been looking at our Airbnb, babe, and just kind of like scoping out the area. Um, you know, we Back were there. In a week, we'll be there. Yeah, crazy. Like, holy shit, we'll probably be at the grocery store about right now. Yeah. Uh, for our day one shopping. Yeah. We'll be, man, crazy. Shit. It's it's really coming together. Um, I got some new suitcases because I need to. Uh, 
you know, pack all my stuff. Um, I, I'm undecided if I'm going to bring the Ninja Creamy. Uh, might have to pack that sucker. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to get inside. Hope you enjoyed that little physique update. We'll, uh, we'll give you more updates as we keep vlogging into, into the weeks coming here for Olympia. But, um, what are you training today? We're going to do up some back. Perfect. So we're going to do a back day. Um, you guys are coming with, so let's keep rolling with this vlog. I got to eat because I'm starving. <laughs>
okay tubes we are out just uh hey, the energy is down <laughs> <laughs> we're well, out in the nature right now what episode is this like 19 19 yeah i think it took 19 episodes uh to see uh less than 100 missy <laughs> you are, this is your first real struggle i mean you're yeah. hungry and tired this is the first you hit a week wall. Yeah, the, yeah you hit a wall yeah yeah I think also like getting sick too has really like, um, you know, kind of like made my energy really plummet. Um, right now I'm just kind of like blowing out like all the mucus and everything. So I do feel like a hundred times better. I'm very thankful for that. Um, cause I was really only sick maybe for three days. Four. Yeah. Four -ish. Well, yesterday you kind of already started fitness practice. So I guess you can't count that. Yeah. Yeah. Three days. Yeah. So got very lucky there. Um, big week ahead. Big week ahead, yeah. yeah. Feeling super optimistic. Um, excited for tomorrow to wake up, take my 212 and do my cardio. Um, That's good. Yeah. So as you can tell, we are rocking all the new AAR apparel. Man, I love this hoodie. Yeah. Holy cow. Matt wears a 3X yeah, and it and fits it, very well. And the length, uh, like, I'm not shitting on brand, all, like Gasp has good quality clothing, other like fitness brands. Yeah. But it's for like short guys. Yeah, short, yeah. You know, so it all sits up. AAR uh, is for AAR like. AAR is amazing. Big uh, dudes, like. Yeah, this is 3XL, fits roomy. Yeah. Long enough. And yeah, the zipper, fantastic. really good quality. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what's your, uh, there's a million things to pack, which is wild. Yeah. But do you have any to-do items, any big things we have to left this week aside from packing yeah um so i definitely have to do um like pack the lsr stuff like the the tanning because yeah. matt hand coats me on the wednesday because i compete on friday so we do a hand coat wednesday and then i get sprayed by lsr liquid sunrays on um thursday and then we do like another coat in the morning on friday just you know if there's like P marks or if I I usually sleep with like my hand on my face and I have like a hand mark so they fix all P that mark yeah like pee when you pee in the toilet like if water or like <laughs> splashes wow. up <laughs> that's a new one yeah, yeah, yeah P mark <laughs> rub out that P mark yeah um yeah you do have like there's like a million crazy it's crazy like like little tape that you have to use for your suit oh yeah yeah like yeah, I mean, it's fucking wild how much stuff you need yeah i actually make like a list and i just it, like a checklist i write everything down and then as i'm packing i just kind of like check it off like sheets pillowcase a towel like my hair dryer all of these things that you really need for like your competition yeah and we normally uh we travel pretty light except for shows yeah then it's like two bags each <laughs> yeah family of eight coming through it's yeah. just us i keep <laughs> two people yeah i keep yeah. saying this like i'm bringing the ninja creamy mm -hmm. so if there's i think i'm bag, going to yeah. yeah that is your treat i know yeah like for prep um, it's really gotten and we me through couldn't, we can't just buy one because they're hard to find right um yeah yeah, yeah. Right, so we'll lo yeah, lots of things room. to still do um we leave this saturday so uh like super stoked to be in orlando for you know halloween and just yeah I, I i can't even really put it to words like we've been you know working the whole year towards this tubes like you guys have been with me on this journey babe you're a part of it every single day like and now it's like it's here and a part of me is kind of like sad because i'm like <laughs> oh, i'm not man like i wanted to be here Let's yeah get this fucker on well because it's like you go for so long right and then it's like man 12 days this is going to be over um but a lot of like really positive things happening after olympia like your mom is coming to visit yeah. which i'm so excited about got a mexico vacation mexico vacation yeah in january yeah. and i got a job <laughs> yeah <laughs> um <clears throat> so uh, yeah i applied for a dog walking position um and i got the job <laughs> you have like eight jobs right? i know yeah. i like yeah. i do like so much yeah. um but yeah i love dogs so it you know it's part-time and um i'm i'm excited to start that and i'll do that like the end of november and oh my gosh i forgot to say this um i'm going to 
Max in Sledge Headquarters again um, after Olympia. So I don't know if I told you guys that. Did I tell them? I don't, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So we're doing like a bunch of photo shoots for like Black Friday with uh, Axe and Sledge, AAR. Um, yeah, it's going to be like a lot of fun. I'm stoked. Yeah. All right. Big week. Big week. Yeah. Nothing, nothing else. Like... Can we can we touch a little bit on like uh, like your gut, your the gut health, the the journey, and like everything? We've, I, we've like teased this like five times, and I have always like, oh yeah, that would be good to talk about. And then literally by the next week's video, I'm in some weird rabbit hole again. Yeah, like yeah. You're literally chasing your own tail. Um, so it really it it started. I just wanted to optimize my gut. I was like getting bloating stuff. Um, and so I was like, you know what, like, this is important. I want to take care of it. It was after a really hard diet last year. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and yeah, and I've, just my own doing. Uh, like, it's checking, it was like blood work. And like, I even did a GI map. Um, so I, I kind of like, just tend to like fixate on it. Um, and yeah, I'm kind of going in reverse. <laughs> little bit uh, which if anyone has like gut problems I sure I'm sure you can relate um, it's a it's a it's, it's a yeah. struggle right yeah. like yeah it's like and I, I think one time we talked about it and I, I ripped on the gastroenterologist because it was like not helpful at all ooh. like she just completely dismissed me yeah um, did not care about my like I just did not hit the radar of her giving a fuck um, and even in hindsight I mean if you go into like an ER doctor They've got a hundred thousand conditions in their head, and in like thirty seconds they identify right. Like, yeah. You have this, so here's here's our treatments. These are <clears throat> like the smartest people, right? Dumb people don't say I want to go to school for eight years and do a residency, right? Doctors are incredibly smart people, and then nurses are like, as professionals go, like probably the hardest working people, mm. right? So I mean, you got this team, yeah, right? Like, and yet they get all this negative feedback from people. Um, including me in some ways. But so doctors have this like thing in their head, right? Where they got every condition it could be, they, they evaluate real quick and then check on They got more people coming. So it's like, okay, here's what we have to do. A gastroenterologist is almost impossible. Mm. Everything, and, this, and Instagram is taking advantage of you if you have gut stuff, because like, do you have bloating? Mm. Who has never had bloating, right? right. Do you have bloating? you have constipation or diarrhea they throw both in there um, you know they, they throw all these symptoms that literally at some point in our life everyone has had yeah headaches feeling run down pretty soon you're like oh fuck that's me yeah okay that's a hundred gut issues yeah they all manifest themselves the same way mm. you know irritable bowel fucking slow motility freaking cr I don't know actually SIBO. I don't know what Crohn's but SIBO yeah they are all um, basically manifest themselves. The gastroenterologist has no freaking chance. Right. In in a in a twenty minute visit. Mm -hmm. um, so they they check off a couple of things. They do a couple of low level things. My point of this ramble, one, I'm, I I said I see now. I understand better where the doctors and nurses are coming from in terms of gut health. Uh, we really have to get better at this. Uh, they almost need like a a limousine service, like where, hey, this is what your insurance covers. It takes two months to get a, even a visit with us. Mm. So you're gonna get 20 minutes and we don't really give a fuck. Yeah. Or they need this like elite service. Like we're gonna do every test. We are gonna find out what's wrong with you. Your insurance does not cover it. And it's gonna be fucking expensive. Yeah. Because that's kind of what I'm doing. Right. Right. The GI map was expensive. Just I have for a food so allergy the test can coming. Know, how yeah. much was the GI map? 500. 500. Incredible. I cannot believe you can do that and you get that detail of information mm. it was freaking awesome so what does the gi map tell you like it, just real quick good like, bacteria bad bacteria pathogens um parasites i mean they it basically analyzes your stool and mm. well that's everything that's going on like right. digestive wise yeah um, it does not tell you like you have SIBO or you know take these three pills but it's or a full comprehensive like, so you really then yeah. need an educated person to kind of help you decipher it Right. That's a good piece of information, uh, I thought. Um, so anyway, so I'm kind of on this testing stuff. Wish it would have happened 18 months ago when this all started. But yeah. you know, this is this is like gut health. Anyway, so I, 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 I see where gastroenterologists are really in a tough spot. My point in all this, long-winded like I oftentimes am, 
you get into gut stuff, it is absolutely on you. Mm. You are like, no one really knows. Yeah. Right? There is a cause. You should not be bloating from food. Yeah. If you have like constipation, that's really bad. Tox toxins over the years, because then toxins are building up. Diarrhea, probably the same way. Mm. So I mean, if you're not digesting food well, it is a problem and you should be addressing it. Yeah. But it's on you. Yeah. And it is not the fucking ad you get on Instagram <laughs> that like, this is the probiotic you've been missing. Yeah. Right? You, you, they are, that is the worst of false advertising. Mm. Um, because they are taking advantage of people like, right, man, my gut, I want to get better. I'm going to do this. You could be making it worse. Yeah. For every problem and every time people have a solution, um, you know, some people said it in the comments, um, say, yeah, yeah, that's not right uh, info for me. Um, so, you know, cause I've tried all that stuff and a lot of times you're actually doing the wrong thing. Yeah. Like, uh, Greek yogurt and kefir and apple cider vinegar. That stuff's great to build like like a good gut bacteria. Like if you have a good gut, mm. that stuff's fantastic. If you have like a histamine intolerance, that shit is the worst thing you could do. What is histamine for you? It's like an allergic reaction from your body. So if a food is causing an allergic reaction to your body, high histamine foods like Greek yogurt, anything fermented. Tomato. Yeah, I, I'm starting to learn. I don't know anything about this stuff. I'm just about me in particular. Yeah. I'm not trying to be like an expert because yeah, I yeah. am not. Uh, but I'm just trying to narrow in to be optimal on my stuff. Yeah. Um, and so you, it's it's on you. Right. You, have to, you have to view it that way. The gastroenterologist is like, she's like a, an employee of yours yeah she's gonna do what she can general practitioners are no even less yeah um so and ironically like the bodybuilding nutrition coaches honestly are out in front of this a little yeah i, I mean, mean they are yeah that has been the most knowledgeable people I that i've talked to yeah uh, because they're trying to be optimal right they're not you know so yeah that's the so I'm, I'm not helping a lot here, uh, but if you dive into this, know it's on you. <clears throat> it is. It is not a pill. Um, <coughs> it's. It's not going to be a single pill if you truly have like digestive problems. The only other thing I'd say, if like you don't have, because man, this was coming for me ten fucking years ago. I was little stuff. Um, give your gut like a break. Yeah. Think of like body. We're eating six times a day. Mm -hmm. Bad. That's hard. Right, we're pressing the digestive system. Yeah. High protein, hard. Um, we're max caffeinated, which you can that can be an overload to the system. Yeah. Uh, I'm not anti-caffeine, but we all press it um, to the, the bodybuilders in general. Press everything. So it's it's um, the sport is difficult on the digestive system, mm -hmm. and you know I think like what, what do bodybuilders call when they basically come off stuff. I don't know. They basically that means they're gassed to the fucking tits. Oh yeah, and then yeah. They come out of health state. They, that's like the new thing. Oh, I'm in my health phase. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that probably means a gram instead of two grams. <laughs> I don't know yeah. what the real numbers are. But as part of that, you should uh, like give your fucking digestive system. Yeah. Like a break. That Cut was protein the... way back. Yeah. Um, eat like really clean foods. Like cut out. You don't do it forever. Our bodies are amazing. We can handle artificial sweeteners we can handle like this this stuff especially when you're like younger and healthy um but there comes a point it can't and so i, I just think if you like proactively give yourself a give your stomach a break you then it won't bust on you yeah you know so um i mine is teetering on busting and it's much harder to fix yeah um so i wish i would have gone back sooner uh, so anyway the uh when I when I go into like off season, I do take like a couple weeks where I just don't even like eat on plan. Like I eat when I'm hungry. You know, I still do like protein carbs, pre-workout meals, stuff like that, but I'm not like six meals a day plowing food. Um, usually I, that's I when we even... go to, like on vacation like to Mexico and stuff, like I to have that break time. Um, mind you, I'm 34. I don't know how long I can get away with that for, you know. Um, six meals a day, high protein is really hard on the body. Yeah. Like you said. Yeah. I mean, it's healthy, right? This is the, the nature of bodybuilding. Yeah. It, you know, it, yeah. It's healthy food, but then you have to be realistic. It's just, it's like me, like, yeah, I eat right and I exercise and right, all that stuff. But you know, 240 pounds, 
is it healthy? Yeah. Ideally. Right, right. Heart just knows, man, this is a lot of weight. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, there's there's pros and cons. We all get it. Yeah. Um, but um, you, I even think you should take it one. I'm even saying, not you in particular, you live your life, but take it even one step <laughs> further where you're like literally like in that phase where you're like, I'm going to kind of eat off plan. That's when you like cut artificial sweeteners. Yeah. For Just give your body a break because we're ever, like, so think like going to the gym is inflammation. Right, that's yeah. what we're doing. We're we're breaking down muscle, inflammation, and then our body repairs it. We come back here bigger and stronger. The stomach is bang, 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 bang. We are banging that thing. Poor it's not stomach. just six times a day because yeah. then we're throwing sodas on top of it and coffee and energy drinks in between meals. We're just banging yeah. the shit out of this thing. Yep. So if you have a leaky gut or whatever, and we're, we're never giving it a break. If you just gave it a break, where it's like basically chicken and rice yeah. for four weeks. Um, get rid of the allergen stuff mm. give dairy a break dairies i'm not it's if you can handle it dairy's great yep. if you can handle stuff it's great but it is harder to digest so all that stuff just get rid of the allergens mm. if you eat eggs six eggs a day or 12 egg white omelets and all that stuff don't eat eggs for four weeks just give it a pause give it a little break yeah, yeah. and then it's like it's basically boring bland food um you know, these are first world problems <laughs> we're talking but about. But a lot of people hard. are like struggling with this type of stuff. So I'm glad you're talking about it because I, I see the struggle. Bodybuilders are getting taken down. Well, when yeah. bodybuilders are all getting taken down. Right. Yeah. You see like a lot of these like older guys, especially, you know. old. Yeah. Not even that old. Like. Brad but, Wilkins is freaking young. True. Yeah. Alice Thomas Jr. is younger. They're literally backing out of shows. Yeah. Fuck. I forgot about that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because of GI stuff. Right. So, I mean, and, yeah, it's and look, wild. And once, and I bet you, I don't know them, but if you talk to them, I bet they had issues, mm. like minor. Right. And if they just paused, your body will heal itself. Ah. But you keep the pedal going. Yeah. You Which keep ramming we are and ramming extreme and in bodybuilding. Well, yeah. you don't really ever yeah. think, oh my God, I'll be fine. Right. Um, yeah, it is until it's not. Yep. Um, so, anyway, I think I'm getting closer. I think there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. I'll talk about it again if I'm ever like have like great exciting news. Right now it's just like data. Yep. Um, the data is always conflicting. Um, yeah. Um, so just like real quick, babe, I'm super thankful because Matt is on like this crazy diet right now. Not diet, but like scheduled like food that he eats. It's all super healthy. And I took so, all allergens out. So yeah. essentially what I'm talking about, I'm doing. And yeah, and like so all of Matt's food he cooks when he eats it. So like yeah, I don't I can't prep. Nothing no no prep food. It's all This is a, like I'm cooked. testing. I'm testing so people are like, "Oh my god, I'm not going to do that." <laughs> We're telling bodybuilders not to meal prep. Um anyway, but, it's just a, I'm testing this one thing. Yeah. Uh, anyway, with like yeah. with your meats and um you know, you still do you still do cream of rice. Yeah. Um but yeah, um it's I mean what an awesome like selfishly my diet, my, my for me it's harder than yours <laughs> <laughs> it's like a bitch is <laughs> 11 days out like the biggest bodybuilding show in the world literally my diet's harder <laughs> fuck my life seriously, <laughs> seriously. i know I i'm like losing weight that I, today. i'm losing weight i don't want to like i want to be like strategically losing weight yeah, no, yeah. i'm losing weight because i don't want like i don't i look like shit no you're babe. over here just <laughs> 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 fuck. Fuck. but yeah uh -huh. i cut all artificial sweeteners so no energy drinks and i did this yeah. before last year um and it, it it worked good but i i i'm on a different theory here um and you truly can go back to having the stuff i mean unless you're um you know lactose intolerant or celiac or you know those people have mm. to avoid that forever uh, but you know if if you just give it a pause you let your gut heal um it is it's it's fixable yeah and so just getting back to baseline yeah. and this is the easiest thing way for me i just eradicate everything mm. um yeah you're hard clean it like out that. well it's just the way my mind works just clean it out yeah and then just kind of start to then figure out what i can add back in or what i can't yeah um not a fun process i mean <laughs> not you're a fun process hopefully yeah. it'll be worth it i'll yeah. report back if what I learned if you guys are like you know interested in like talking about this type of stuff 
shoot Matt a DM on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Well, it'll um, only be uh, uh, like a therapy session. <laughs> it will not be. I'll be like, man, I fucking know where you're coming from. Yeah. Well, it no, you can. Yeah. yeah, you can relate to like a lot of these people. Yeah, but yeah. no, thank you for sharing that because I know like. You know, it, it is a struggle. It's hard, yep, yep. And, and you have to do it. You're, you are responsible. I mean, in life, you're responsible for everything. But yeah, um, yeah, doctors have no chance. No, to, like um, so. It even like you know, it was, it was like I, I'm starting to get progress, and it's because I went back to the gastroenterologist and said, "Look, I have all this stuff. Like, <laughs> you know, I have a GI map." I have this blood test. This was stuff I was doing. Right. <laughs> that, like, yeah, she never yeah. ordered. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and she's yeah. She didn't even mention it was possible. I didn't even know this stuff existed. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Even some of their tests that they do, you know, they're pretty funky. They're trying to get you in and get you out. Yeah. Um, so, and it's because you know they're packed. They're busy as shit. They have really no financial incentive, mm -hmm. right? So, I mean, you got to kind of figure out where they're coming from. Right. Um, they're smart people. They just, it's its too difficult to pinpoint in a 20 minute visit. I went to a holistic doctor, you know. You've people, been to a lot of people doctors. People talk, yeah. Yeah, I just try. I want to pick their brain. I want to get like better at this. Uh, yeah. I want to be optimal. I do think the gut kind of drives everything. Um, so, oh, yeah. you know. So yeah, that's where we're at. Hopefully, I'll we'll talk again if uh, I come to some big grand conclusion. Yeah. Whether it was good or bad, you know, I could be chicken and rice for life. <laughs> that's it. Oh no, we're yeah. not gonna have burger post Olympia. Yeah, well, you'll be eating it. Yeah, like, I'm eating it. <laughs> like this year, I ate it. You had to watch. Yeah. Forever, <laughs> you'll be eating it. I'll be watching. Oh no. Uh, I got my Tupperware with chicken and rice. All I can eat. Yeah. All I can do. Oh uh, shoot. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we got a big week, big week coming. Uh, the last week we're here in Washington before we go to Orlando. So. Keep pushing. Keep pushing, yeah. yeah keep it's, pushing. Uh, Man, you have got the diet fucking face. People are recognizing on Instagram too. Yeah, like You post I, those morning pics and it just like, yeah, so sunken in. It's cool though, like this is the leanest I've ever been. Um, I think I mentioned that like in the uh, physique update but yeah i haven't been 125 since i've been in my 20s without the fake boobs so i mean like i am freaking lean right now and yeah. that was the game plan because the judges wanted harder and tighter in the back backside uh which glutes and hamstrings um and i brought my hamstrings up you guys have fucking seen it like those motherfuckers drop now um my back is bigger my rear delts are bigger we hammered those this off season man i am coming Qu quads, like, were, quads were never a weak point but your quads look sick yeah quads are like really really looking Bobbing. good now yeah and then abs are your biggest like that's your shape my waist got smaller it's this prep smaller. too yeah, yeah it was whew. and i gotta contribute that to uh cutting artificials so i don't I, I stopped doing uh, creamer in my coffee like last year. Um, I don't do like aspartame um, other than in like diet sodas, but I even limit the diet That's sodas. Sucralose, but yeah, yeah. Another, it's another bad one. But, yeah. yeah. I, I limit diet sodas to like two a day. Um, and then I do like an energy drink uh, in the morning. This so, is what bodybuilders call limiting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably sitting uh, around a, like 1,200 megs of caffeine a day. On some days. Some days. Yeah, yeah. like towards the end here. Yeah. You know, when you throw that 212 back in there. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's what I mean. So, I mean, you're trying to win the biggest bodybuilding show in the world. Right. So, you're not thinking like, boy, I need to really uh, worry about my caffeine intake. No, you got to fucking kill today. Right. Right. That's my whole, like, so when you get the point and you can take a deep breath. Yeah. You know, instead of just fucking pound and pizza and five guys i mean a professional athlete yeah or if you're a serious athlete maybe you don't even comp like compete at missy's level man just give it four to six weeks yeah and just just a little so the reset. easiest thing for just me is to just eliminate it yeah um that's just the way my mind works and it's really it's not it's not that fucking hard yeah um, you know totally so, yeah. totally all right there we go in one week, we're going to be in Orlando. I want to hug you, but I'm like, I feel like I'm still... <laughs>
still <laughs> sick, so I can't get him get him sick. Yeah. Um, we're sitting, yeah. We're sitting far apart. Yeah. One week, freaking in Orlando. In it's Orlando. Wild. It's wild. So, yeah, our next video, we're gonna be in Orlando. I'm going to do my best. I'm, I'm not going to make any promises, but I'm going to try to vlog as much as I can and put videos out as frequently as possible. Um, because like I told you guys, Matt and I are getting a condo. So, you know, we're going to have like our own space. Um, we'll be able to go to the grocery store, go to the gym, um, you know, tour around like as much as we want. So we should have like a lot of you know just content for you guys and it's They're cool fun to look back yeah i watch i go back and look sometimes do you um and it would have been like unfortunately last year's olympia you know tubes is awesome and we were planning on recording more yeah and like the wi-fi was dog shit. well the wi-fi was dog shit, but then also you got ill yeah and then that kind of takes some of the fun away right right um because like traveling with the shark Oh my God, there was crazy story. Like, oh my God, our rental car at like two in the morning. Yeah, what a break, an absolute we get a break shit warning. show. You don't want your brakes being fucked up warning. <laughs> and like, oh yeah, well we got fucking six hours to Vegas. Keep going. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was that, that was, was wild crazy. Um, so hopefully we got the cold out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I've been like steam ahead. yeah, super transparent with you guys, tubes. This entire prep, you know, I've told you when I've been feeling down. I've told you when I've been sick um the good the bad so it's like now we're just it's all it's all good now yeah like yeah. i have just been grinding this entire time and i want to thank you guys so much for following along on this journey i feel like we've really set ourselves up here for a good for a good showing okay but it's not, i'm always walking missy back you're so <laughs> <laughs> This is the yin and yang of our relationship, but it is a subjective sport. Yeah, totally, totally. Wonky stuff has happened. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, um, so you gotta be able to accept the good or the bad. You do, it's cliche, but it's fucking, it's cliche because it's fucking yeah. true. Yeah. You do all you can do. Totally. You have done all you can do. Totally. But bodybuilding's wacky, the human body's wacky. You yeah. don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah. You don't know what the judges are looking for. Right. Necessarily. Um, always yeah. you know what they're looking for but you know you never know so and you don't know what other people are bringing right yeah I ain't sweating <laughs> <laughs> I try to walk her back it's not, it's not happening so you just keep going uh, I'll be no, that's true no I'm uh, stoked I'm I want I want everyone to be at their best yeah, I want to yeah. um, you know stand on stage with let's see yeah, like yeah. let's 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 compare. Let's the vision is stacked this year. Oh yeah, everyone's there. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, like there's some really good people. So yeah, yeah this is gonna be this is gonna be good. Hell yeah. Some people who have been placing high are not gonna be placing high, in my opinion. We'll see. Yeah. But just because there's some new there's some some good people. Yeah, I'm stoked. I'm freaking pumped. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's wrap this up. All right, tubes. We will catch you in the next video here. Um, and that's going to be when we're heading to uh, no, we'll be there. Orlando. Yeah, the travel oh, day. The travel yeah. there. Yeah, so, yeah. And then we'll be sitting in a condo doing a conversation. Yeah. Yeah. All right, oh, guys. I can't wait, I can't wait either. Yeah, let's Give me do some. It. Come on. Do it. <laughs> wait, go again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tubes. We'll catch you in the next one.